Well, hello, good people. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be talking to you guys about my cargo van. I'm going to give you guys a tour and we're going to go over some details so that when it's time for you to purchase your business cargo van, you are ready. So I know you guys are like, yo, Brittany, where the heck have you been? I'm sorry, guys, but this is good news. I have been planning our two day conference. Woo! So it's gonna be October 7th and October 8th here in the DMV area. Let me know if you can make it. Please email me at hi at upscaleballoons.com. That way I know how many people are gonna be able to come and I can plan accordingly. I'm ironing out the details, getting the venue, getting the hotel finalized if you guys are coming out of town. And I'm so excited to meet you guys. Not only am I excited to talk about everything business-wise when it comes to a balloon business, but we're gonna be going out to do a job, like real jobs. So that'll give you guys really good experience and I'm excited to meet you guys, hang out with you. I wanna take you guys out to dinner. It'll be fun, so let me know if you're interested so that I can email you details as they come. So let's get to this cargo van. I'm gonna give you guys a tour, but first I wanna go over how I purchased this cargo van. So what happened was I actually had a friend who was friends with this guy that had his auction license and he owned a small dealership in the area. So what I did is I went to the friend and I was like, hey, I heard you have your auction license. I'm looking for a cargo van. If I pay you $500, can you find me a cargo van? And yeah, I'll give you $500 for finding the cargo van for me. And that's what we did. I purchased this for $17,500, including that guy's $500 payment. So this was a great deal. Currently this cargo with the way used cars are priced right now is valued at around $22,000. And I purchased this puppy three years ago. You do not hear about used cars appreciating much, right? Unless they're like classical cars. So. This was a great investment for me, guys. I actually found out that this cargo used to live in Florida and it belonged to another business that owns a golf cart or like some type of golf course company because they had their logos on here. And vinyl, it was on the walls. You'll see it on my shelves that I'm gonna show you in the back. And I, you know I Googled it. So that's how I got my cargo van. So you guys could probably do the same. You can go to a small dealership in the area like one that's really small, not like a franchise or a big corporate one, and be like, hey, do you have your auctions license? I would be interested in giving you $500. I already know what type of cargo I want. If you can find it on your online systems that you guys have access to, then we can do business together. Secondly, I have insurance on this cargo van, business insurance. So not only does it cover me and anyone else that I would get into a potential accident with but it also covers anyone that drives this cargo van so whether that's family friends employees contractors anybody that drives this cargo van is covered as well so guys let's get to the tour now I'm totally debating one day on making this cargo van into like a little mini RV situation I like to travel, I'm like a camper, if you guys didn't know, but it's so spacious, I can literally stand up in this thing, look. So I am currently standing up, I'm only 5'1", but still, don't judge me. Okay guys, so this cargo van had this fun light already inside. So you can see here, I have two ceiling lights that work perfectly, especially for nighttime situations. When I used to do late installs, it used to be so helpful. Here, up against this wall, is where I keep my ladder. So I sit my ladder up on this step here, and then I use this good old bungee cord in order to make sure that my ladder is secure. Because there's nothing worse than your ladder swaying in the back of your cargo while you're driving and bumping into any fragile decorations. Now here is where I keep my extra helium tank when helium isn't low. So what I do is I sit it here, it's standing up, and then I strap it really tight into this corner here. So it's always really important to have an extra helium tank with you because 
balloons pop. So you can quickly run into your cargo van and blow up more. Now, let me show you guys one of my favorite parts about this cargo van. And that is the electricity that I have here. So I'm able to turn this puppy on, plug in my air pumps, and work on decorations inside of the cargo van when I'm on site. It is a lifesaver. You do wanna make sure that when you have that puppy on, you also turn on your cargo van so that it doesn't drain the battery. Now, this was the business that previously actually owned my cargo van, D&G. So that's how I found out <laughs> who the owner was. But I love this shelf here because I'm able to put stuff inside, extra supplies. You can see a steak there, straps. I have extra straps for keeping things secure. Tape, you know, knives, the whole nine yards, extra tools for cutting artificial floral, but it works great. And that little switch thing there ensures that the drawers don't open up when I am driving my cargo van. Up here is like a little shelf situation. And what I keep in here is like stuff that I need mostly for the cargo van. So if the battery was to run, I got my jumper cables. This is gonna be very important for you guys to also have is a first aid kit because, you know, balloon decorating, it sounds cute, but sometimes, you know, things get a little nasty out there. So always make sure you have a first aid kit on you. New subbies, what's up? Welcome to the channel, guys. I greet you guys. Thank you guys so much for your support. As always, if everybody can like, comment, and subscribe, I would appreciate it. Let's learn, let's grow together. I'm so excited for this year. Now let's get back to this video. Now I can't lie, this edge here on this shelf used to be my demise. Like, this probably has my DNA on it because I've probably hit my head a good life five times on that puppy, but I eventually learned and I learned how to avoid it. <laughs> but I have the two-seater situation up here. I got my hand sanitizer, but this is the front end of my cargo van. You can see I have my cross there, just something that I always keep in this cargo van and it's been special for me. But this is my cargo. I have this side door right here which actually works wonderfully for actually being able to load things into the cargo van. So a lot of times I'll keep like my extra bricks and my sandbags here. Thank you guys so much for coming along and touring my cargo van with me. I hope that it was helpful. I hope that it was fun for you guys to watch, inspiring. I do recommend when you first start your balloon business, you don't purchase a cargo van for the first one or two year because it's an expense and you wanna ensure that you're being able to bring in money that's gonna be able to cover your cargo payment. So you're gonna first start off most likely with U-Haul. If you do U-Haul, make sure you do a U-Haul business account because it'll definitely save you money there. But eventually your business will get to a point in which it's gonna be more affordable for you to get a cargo van rather than renting from U-Haul. I'm so, so excited for you guys. I can't wait to hear more about your balloon businesses growing. I can't wait to see you in October, man. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, good people.